What is up, everybody? I am here for episode 9 of My Dance Life TV with Team Korea, Dassey, and Sue. We are in Spanish Harlem right now. <laughs> What's going on, ladies? Hello! Team Hi. Korea! Team Korea. <laughs> so we have Sue on the left and Dassey on the right. Ladies, you are poppers, correct? Yes. yes. Poppers. You like popping? Of yes. course. <laughs> um, <laughs> being here, obviously, uh, New York is expensive. Yes, crazy. What do you guys? Uh, what do you guys do for a living? Um, we all have a. We are students here, so we are like live day by day. <laughs> kind of making it work, type thing. Yes. yes. Extra work, maybe. And, and sometimes we do gig. We teach at the spot and studio and yeah. Yeah, so it's like that. going to school. What are you going to school for? English for me because yeah. of visa. Yeah. yeah. And I go to ballet art school, uh, the ballet dance studio. That's tight. Yeah. So dancers are very artistic individuals. <laughs> do you guys have any other hobbies besides dancing? Like something that's personal to you that you like to do outside of popping? Um, I do a lot of things. Um, do <laughs> I do Pilates workout. I like to read a book. Uh, I like to go to traveling. Re uh, drawing. Fashion styling. Yeah. Fashion. I do, yeah, I like, yeah, I like to do a lot of stuff. Stuff. A lot of things. Yeah, a lot of things. What about you? Then? For me, I I've been drawing all my life. Right. But I never really learned. But I really like to draw when I have free time, like acceptance. And I I really love like art things. And I go watch movie. I go shopping. I hang out with friends. And yeah, that's that's all. Pretty, pretty <laughs> normal stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> you ladies being from Korea yes. have been now living on both sides of the planet. All the places you've been on Earth, what are your favorite foods to eat? Korean! Korean food! <laughs> Korean! <laughs> Korean! Every single day, every well, meal. <laughs> yeah, every Korean, meal. that's it. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, Korean food is really expensive in New York, so we usually cook at home. And yeah, I like cooking. Yeah, <laughs> she's really good at it. So I like cooking, so I, I cook every day, not not from outside. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's true. I, like, I can't tell anything else. Like <laughs> I mean, I, I love American food, but it's like too greasy for us. We like spicy food. I mean, like I love spicy yeah. kimchi style. Yeah. Yeah. We eat sometimes like in you know, American, Italian, whatever, but we have to eat Korean food like once a week. Yeah, no, <laughs> once a week, every day. No, if <laughs> we, if we all the time. I mean, yeah. if we eat all the time. Yeah. You know, we don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, well, that was that, yeah, he was not expecting. No, I wasn't. I was like, like, oh, Spanish food. I was like so hyped. Oh, well, uh, yeah, my second Caribbean favorite food. is Spanish food. My second. Yeah. For me, I don't want to be like that, but I love Asian food. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it is I all good. I really like Mexican it's food. All I really like Spanish food. Yeah. Everything, everybody's got their preference. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> um, so, now we got that out of the way. Uh, <laughs> you guys obviously listen to popping music often, being poppers. Yes. Are there any kind of music, is there any kind of music like besides funk or hip hop? Like, there any kind of music, what's your favorite music to listen to outside of dance? 
I love uh, jazz. Um, love. I think I like <laughs> all kinds of music. Like I just I like to listen to music. Anything. It, yeah, I don't care about the <laughs> the genre. Artists. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I love anything too, but especially I like soul music, R and B. <coughs> D'Angelo, yes. Erika Baru, yes. Um, Speaking my language, Lauryn Hill, yes. yeah. Like, oh, I love them so much. That's yes. what I grew up on. Yes, definitely, <laughs> definitely. So, you guys have been here how long now? How long have you been here? Five, six years now. Five to six. Three years for me. Three years. What, what made you move to New York from Korea? Uh, free, <laughs> freedom. <laughs> Hmm. Freedom. <laughs> yeah, you can take the Individual freedom. Yes. Cut me. Uh, we love Korea. We love Korea. South Korea. Ugradro. Oh, we're good. Um. I love New York. I love New York. Just New, just New York City is like really diverse city. Like. And I want. I really wanted to learn like different dance style, which, which is like uh, African or uh, modern, like that we cannot really learn in Korea. So I came here and like history, hip hop, yeah. music, yeah, I just cur yes, culture please. thing. I just wanted you to wanted learn. To understand. Yeah, that's why I came to New York. Wow. <laughs> What is up, everyone? We are back, Castro here with Dassey and Sue Team Korea for episode nine of My Dance Life TV. My Dance Life, mine, theirs. So, ladies, yeah. how long, how long have you been popping? Only popping? Only popping. Popping for, for me, like almost nine years. And for her, yeah, it was. That's a long time. Almost. Like, almost same? Almost, yeah, almost nine years, ten years. Almost nine, ten years. That's uh, what we like to call dedication in the dance world. Stick to it. So, what was it about popping? Like, why did you want to pop? Like, out of all the other dance styles that you could have made your main focus, why popping? I think I started a robot dance first, but I called myself robot dance because I, I didn't know what is this yeah. you know when i was a kid like I just <laughs> robot no, dancing robot dance. but i found the popping yeah word the dancing so oh this is popping and i started to learn so that's how i into interesting yeah <laughs> um <laughs> for me i actually started dancing from other styles such as locking and like choreography korean style choreography but i felt something different from popping that popping is most like hardest than style I think but it makes me feel like I need to impress that the music by my body and it feels so 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 good and I feel like music is my body that that feel really good special so that's why I'm I chose this style mm. that's tight that's tight so you guys have been popping for almost 10 years and anybody who knows you all knows that your skill level is pretty high you you've done a lot so that means that you've had to train really hard for a long time when you're when you're training like practicing how do you how do you go about doing that like music no music do you work on drills like how do you practice for me like especially in korea korean dancers practice really 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 crazy I used I, I almost live in the studio every time like go, going to school and then come back to studio practice till 5 in the morning and then go back to school sleep on the school sleep in the school and yeah I 
we drill, we practice freestyle, we practice musicality, we practice practice everything. How to battle too? Yeah, like her. No, I'm there. I'm there. I am. Um, yes, like yeah. When I, when I was in Korea, I was trained a lot with my crew, but in New York, just party. Just party, party yes. all day, all day, all night, every night, every weekend, go to party, meet people, cipher, that's it, that's a practice. That's and the way we did yeah, it. Yeah, sometimes, but it's sometimes you need to practice at home. But you sometimes need we need to party too. <laughs> so I think both mix, mix, could mix. be a yeah, good Mix, thing. mix. So, you have been doing this for a while. You plan on doing this forever? Like, what is your ultimate goal? What is your personal ultimate goal for yourself, for your career? Uh, what is your goal? I want to do a lot of charity. I want to do um, teaching kids. And, you know, I, I want to make people dance. Hmm. Like, feel free. Hmm. That's my goal. That's my goal. Hmm. But, you know, some something like you know like a studio whatever like school that's all like business but um i want to do forever the forever things i want to do a lot of charity charity yes. with dance that's cool yes for me the first of all like <laughs> <laughs> dance for me the thing this is what i really love so first of all, I wanna keep doing it unless like I I get hurt. So I I won't be able to dance. I wanna dance forever because I love this. But the thing I want to I want to <laughs> I want to do everything. I want to do Broadway show. I want to teach. I want to travel. I want to battle. I want to judge. I want to do workshop. I want to do everything. And I I don't. I don't want to be hungry dancer. I want to be smart dancer. That's that's my goal as an artist. Be so good you don't have to starve anymore. <laughs> Get it together. Yes. Goal oriented. Work yes. and hard. share the love. Be and free. As Marjorie said. Share the love. Love. Yes. Share the love. This is love, people. <laughs> well, that is it for today's episode. Of My Dance Live TV episode nine. Dassy and Sue. Sorry, I missed. We have another member, Son, but she's in Korea. She so is. We, yeah. Um, you so should be here for stepping game up, but you're not, Son. So when you see this, you see this. You fail. I miss you, Onni. <laughs> she misses Onni, you. Onni, come back. Onni, Onni. Whatever they said. She's so much I don't know what they said. Onja. It sounds <laughs> emotional. <laughs> see. Su, Sunari, come on. This is not a brand name. Is it? So there is one soju, really, really like popular soju in Korea. I say to her that bring them. <laughs> Contraband. That's that's not good. That's not Let's do it. Episode nine. Team Korea, team Korea, team Korea. Episode nine. Episode nine. We are here. Now we're going to cook it up, Follow us. At Twitter, My Dance Life TV. Like and subscribe. YouTube, Digital Mind, My Dance Life TV. Like us on Facebook, Digital Mind Productions. We love
together This dance is so no Don't matter about the past But the matter is my lifestyle In the moments forever Remember together This dance is so we will ever